You look well. Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandjabritsha. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? Eivor! Hello! A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. The Wolfga! So glad to see you. Please, Eivor. Not a long ship. Right. You get used to it. I do not wish to. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Welcome to Grantbridge. We should make our way to the longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. Well, well. 
Well, it's the Devo I see. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randri, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randri. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Shoma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron-fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. No! There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close, and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. Done. I thought you wanted to do this in secret. You see the hunt for a battle. So here we go. his horse. a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. 
Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll dig around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor, over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. Anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride, 
Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. Hey, back time, heathen! I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on! Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Well, well. Look at this. Oh. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. 
That is comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way, but I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you, wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired, but duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. One begins a long time ago at a desert oasis, far away, a place of mystery. I don't know how to draw without your hand to guide me. Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty, not like in our stories. Life is not a story, Toby. It is a fractured shout unguided by verse. Most of us meet untidy ends. If we knew the shape of our stories before we lived them, we would hardly attempt to live them. I would have given anything for another day with Sven. Even a wordless one. He was not ready to go. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Toby. I know you are valued. You have taught Toby well. Through her, you live on.
Soldiers are tightly wound. Sigurd is not here. I'll ask around. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I am asking a simple question. Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Gidrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Axenifort Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. 
Such a woman would help me find Gidrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. What do you see? It smells like a fish house. Good spot to hide. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my warcraft? I hear Basim twist death, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, for he is wise and forthright, and he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Sorry, the ale is all gone. Are you no shame, my god? Well, I yourself. do! Not. <laughs> Where is it? Where is the <coughs> What are you doing?
looking to be done. Who's with me? Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex. And that poxy ass bastard Alfred, we won't have it. You're not the elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork tongued Dane. Foul smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care, for you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd. Of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. With me! What have you done to me? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Untie me! I can still fight these bastards! To fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way, they'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk with... Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! Off again, Aver. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? 
An ally, Eva. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigrid. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battlefire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the blood is dropping. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its lifeline into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales you siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England. What larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you would take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. Go, Zulim. Holding the trials just ahead. My blade is thirsty, friends. Shall we roll in like three barrels of fire? No, we must be careful. Do not let the executioner swing his axe. They are about to execute the prisoners. Of here before they huff my head. Gidrid sent me to find you. Let's go now.
Shit. Let's get on the other side. safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Elderman for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke? You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed.
more soldiers here now. Gidrets has cleared them all out. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. It was bloody business. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Idrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Gidrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Gidrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. All well and good, but some would argue for the blood of a martyr in these cases. And some of King Edmund's blood in soil is still being sold, Cheapside. other side. 